Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a plugin on Bitnami Redmine virtual image with VirtualBox. Okay, in our example, we are going to use the VirtualBox as a software for virtualization. However, you're free to use any other software that you like. It could be, for example, VMware or anything else. Okay, in our virtual box we see Redmine 511 stable. So we start our virtual machine. And now we wait a couple of seconds for the virtual box to start. It needs some time, it is based on your computer, in my case it is about, I don't know, 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Okay, so we are now in. So we log in with the default credentials that are Bitnami and Bitnami. Alright, so we are now just logged in into the backend of our Redmine. So it is saying here that the front end is located onto this address. However, if you would like to double check this, you can use the command host name i. So it is confirmed our redmine is located onto the following address. So let's go and check this situation. Again here we have to wait a couple of seconds too because Redmine is starting now for the first time of this day and it needs some time to load its processes. On my computer it is taking again about 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah. Maybe on your computer it will be faster. Okay, so we see that our Redmine has just started. And now when we want to sign in, we are using the default uh, username that is user and password that is this one. For um, better understanding, I'm keeping the default user and password. However, uh, of course, you can change it anytime afterward. Alright, so it is automatically filled, the default user and password, so I'll log in here. Alright, so when I go to administration and then information, I see that indeed we have Redmine 511 stable, and there are already some plugins installed. Okay, in our case, um, as we have seen here into the guide that I have shared, uh, it is stating plugin name. So uh, instead of plugin name, you're going to insert indeed the plugin name. In our case, uh, we are going to provide as an example the Agile plugin. However, these steps could be applied for any other plugin that you like. You have to only change the plugin name here and into the other steps with the real plugin name, which in our case is going to be Redmine Agile, but it could be Redmine Checklists or Redmine Contacts and so on. Okay, again to say, in our example, for the standard installation, we are going to use the Agile plugin. Okay, so, into the end of this video, we are going to have the Agile plugin here installed into this list. Alright, so let's go back to our backend, or in other words, command line. Now we change the directory to opt bitnami redmine plugins and list them. So we see that this list is into the front end and this is into the back end of our redmine. Alright, so I'm going to download now the very latest Agile plugin here. I'm going to use the wget command. However, you're free to use any other method that you like. For example, you can go to Machine, then File Manager, and here onto the left, you will have your host machine automatically logged in. Your host machine is actually your computer. 
And on the right, you can use the default user and password and log into your guest machine, which is your virtual machine Bitnami Redmine on the virtual box. So when you log in here, you can just copy paste the file via this arrow here. Yeah, it is as simple as that. And also there are other methods of sharing files. You are free to use any other that you like. In my case, I'm just going to use the wget. All right, so I just copy paste the link here. So again to say I'm using wget and this link is pointing to the Agile plugin latest version, which in our case is 168. Okay, so we click enter and our plugin is successfully downloaded. Um, if you'd like to double check, we list again and we see the zip file of our Agile here. Now we unzip it with the unzip command. Okay. Uh, hmm, there is some problem I see here. Okay, just a couple of seconds. All right, so I would like to apologize for the inconvenience. However, the link that I was using uh, was broken. So I have just used a fresh new link now. So just uh, let's just see what is going to happen. Okay, so our plugin is now downloaded. And let's try to unzip it to see what is happening. Okay, so our job is now successfully done. The plugin is successfully unzipped. All right, so we delete the archive itself because we are no longer needing it. And just double check again if everything is fine. So here is our Redmine Agile folder. It is successfully unzipped. All right, so the next step that we have to do is to go to the previous directory and run bundle install. This is going to install all the needed gems that are required for the Agile. Please make a note that in green it is saying that 87 gems are now installed. This is good. However, it is some orange text here. Please ignore it. It is for developers and it is just a warning, uh, warning messages that are not going to harm the work of your Agile plugin. Okay, so the next step that you have to do is the migration command. It is going to be done by a bundle exec rake redmine plugins name and here it is very important the name is the plugin name in our case we are going to set redmine agile because we are installing the agile plugin but uh, no matter which other plugin you're installing you have to just change the name here with the plugin that you're installing for example if it is the contacts plugin you write contacts if it is the checklists you write checklists checklists and so on in our case again to say it is the agile okay so the environment uh, in our case is production all right so we click enter and wait for the database migrations to run. Okay, so we see. The migrations of the Agile plugin tables are successfully migrated. We see Agile data, we see story points ranks, we see sprint to Agile data and so on all tables are successfully migrated okay so the very last step that you have to do is to just restart everything it is done with sudo of bitnami control script restart okay uh, other method of doing this is to just power off your machine and then power on again it is going to do the absolutely same thing. However, with this command, it is done within a bit faster way. 
Okay, so let's go back to our browser and refresh the page to see if we have done our job correctly. So again, we have to wait a couple of seconds because Redmine is being restarted and uh, it has restarted all its processes accordingly. So yeah, it needs some time to just load them again. Okay, it has just refreshed and we see that the Agile plugin latest version is successfully installed on our VirtualBox Bitnami Redmine. So uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you like it you could check other videos and articles from Redmine app. Bye bye.